Tagging along on a road trip to Norman, Oklahoma with Team 118 made this particular experience unique for honorary coaches Vince Carilli and Jeff Maples. I think what was uh, most different for me was the, uh, the level of uh, intensity of the trip, both in terms of what goes into a road trip, the travel involved, but uh, perhaps most importantly what I learned was our student athletes and the commitment that they have to their academic studies. I saw several students uh, on the flight who were studying, had their textbooks with them. Uh, when we got to the hotel, one of the students I saw got into the elevator with me and was asking a question about where the business center was. I guess I wasn't expecting that mixed in with all the responsibilities of the football team. Uh, so that was a really good experience for me and a positive experience to see that our students are both committed to certainly what happens uh, on the football field, but equally as important and perhaps more important for many of them is this whole academic responsibility that they had. So that to me was something that I thought was really neat to see. The trip was insightful but long. Team 118 and company did not reach the Anderson Training Center until 5 a.m. Sunday morning following the game. After traveling through the night, Team 118 still had rehab treatments and study halls to attend to that day, giving Maples a deeper understanding of the commitment it takes to be a student athlete. I've been here with the university for 25 years and really thought I had a good perspective of what all the time commitment, but I really just had a small grasp of that. I got home a little bit after 5.30 Sunday morning. <clears throat> I was able, <clears throat> by skipping church, crash for most of the morning and, and most of the day I was able to kind of just take it easy and kind of recover but I was I was thinking it throughout the day about what the players had to go through I mean most of them especially had to come back I'm sure there were team commitments they had to attend to and then they got class that's what everybody forgets and I thought wow they can't do what I'm doing I'm I'm taking it easy but I'm sure they had a list A B C D E that they had to accomplish that day and it really made me again respect them even more so. You know what my colleague Dave Hart has said oftentimes in meetings that I've been in with him, you don't really know what student athletes go through until you walk in their shoes for a little while. And this honorary coaching experience gave me an opportunity to do that. I certainly have a greater appreciation of what our student athletes have to go through, not just football players, but all of our student athletes, to see that they are really committed to what's happening academically at the institution as well as athletically. The Vols were honored to have Kareli and Maples on the trip and appreciate all that they do for the University of Tennessee. For UTSports.com, I'm Danny Kleppinger.